Grab your squirt guns. Start your engines. Pride season is here. It's just so cool. It's cool. All across the nation, LGBT communities are showing their true colors. And this summer, Outlooks TV is getting in on the action. We're packing our bags and hitting five Pride festivals in five big cities to show you some of the proudest people and places across Canada. Starting right here in Toronto, Ontario, where people have been celebrating Pride for more than 30 years. What began as a small picnic on the Toronto Islands is now the largest Pride Festival in all of Canada. And now with more people, parties and politics, it's bigger than ever. The festival spans 20 city blocks with seven stages and features close to 300 performers. There's just so much to do that y you can't do it all and that really makes Toronto a wonderful host I think for Pride. There's so much diversity in this city that there's someone who's going to be into everything that you're doing. Where are you from? I'm from uh, Canton, Ohio. I'm from South Korea. By the way, from Australia, we're having a fantastic time. What do you think of Toronto as a city? I noticed it's clean, it's beautiful. But I'm totally surprised that like, Toronto is really open to this kind of environment and stuff. So it's really amazing. A lot of diversity. Um, food's amazing. And the guys aren't that bad either, eh? No, no, they're certainly similar. The scenery's pretty good, so <laughs> can't complain about that. If you've come to party, be prepared to catch some my candy. What have you seen here today? I've seen a lot of pecs, I've seen a lot of abs. I don't even know where to look anymore. It's like, yeah. wow, they're everywhere. I think everybody's having a great time because whatever little bit of alcohol they consume goes right into them and they are just partying it up. I'm very proud of Toronto Pride and Canada in general. Your country is teaching a lot of other countries how to do it properly. <laughs> No doubt a lot of people love the parties at Toronto Pride, but for others, Pride can also be an opportunity to get political. And acknowledge that life wasn't always like this. In the mid-80s, um, if we think things are better now, they were a lot worse back then. Um, and the whole AIDS epidemic had just begun and there was a lot of cruelty and discrimination. It's one reason why Corey Hart came to Pride to perform a remix of his 1988 song, Truth Will Set You Free. I wrote it for three very close friends of mine uh, that, that were gay, um, that are gay and were, were suffering with uh, their sexual identity. And it affected me. I saw a lot of pain. <laughs> On a national landscape, I think that we need to be very, very vocal and uh, and get gay rights uh, more in the forefront of uh, the minds of politicians. Toronto Pride gives all communities a chance to speak and be heard, starting with the Trans March, now in its fourth year. Trans rights now! Ontario's trans community celebrated the recent passing of Toby's Act, which added gender expression and gender identity to the Ontario Human Rights Code. But other provinces don't have that, so it's time for the federal government to catch up to Ontario and enshrine our rights. And this is about allowing our children to grow up in freedom and safety. At the annual Dyke March, there was a die-in to draw attention to the inequality and homophobia that exists in Canada. Some pointed to Toronto Mayor Rob Ford, who skipped Pride for the second year in a row since taking office. Rob Ford has come out many, many times saying very negative things about our communities. He's come out against same-sex marriage. He said that he wanted to cut funding for HIV AIDS services in the city. So we have all genders marching with us today. We have gender queers, trans women, trans men. Uh, anyone who defines as a dyke can march with us. For everyone else, there's the main parade, the largest Pride march in Canada. This is the event of the weekend. It's just a great celebration of, uh, of the city and of diversity. You see the people that are here. I think you should wear this more often. It's a good color for you. You know, I, I, I thought maybe the opening of the legislature in the fall. What do you think? I'm going to hold you to that. Many celebrated the passing of Bill 13, which gives Ontario students the right to form gay-straight alliances at school and call them by that name. That has been a major support, and I just hope the Catholic system supports it as well. 
what do you think the message of Pride is this year? I think it's just to celebrate all we've achieved and just to enjoy our community for how wonderful and beautiful it is. God loves the gauge. Just seeing Toronto really come out and, and represent such an amazing community that we do have here. It's amazing. It's truly breathtaking. Well, you know when Toronto Pride is done, once traffic resumes and everyone goes back to their normal lives, but what a weekend it was. Stay tuned as we'll be bringing you more Pride coverage from all across Canada all summer long. For Outlooks TV, I'm Michael Piak.